Greetings, welcome again, everyone. Another video. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about, um, you know, continuing with taking your power back from uh, dealing with narcissists. You know, um, so we're gonna get into that. But before that, um, wanna make aware of the new channel. <clears throat> it is the ASSC Group Network channel. Okay on youtube make sure you look that up i'll put the link in here somewhere click on the link make sure you subscribe to that that's where the live podcast and stuff is going to be that's where um some of the upcoming projects that we've been working on uh filming uh, like the departure of empathy 2 and stuff like that that's where all that stuff is going to be over there okay so make sure definitely make sure you click the link or, and go subscribe make sure you hit the subscribe button over there as well so you stay in tune with everything that we're bringing it'll be more so for the uh you know different programming that we'll be bringing um uh, outside of you know just you know speaking on narcissism at least but anyway with that being said uh a lot of people <clears throat> get into situations and they find out that um, when everything's said and done, they they still have this animosity within, okay? And sometimes that's natural. Sometimes you'll have a lot of, you know, animosity. You'll want to, you know, seek revenge and you'll want to, you know, you know kind of force an issue to, to get back at the narcissist. And that can be natural, you know, especially after you find out that you've been duped you've been lied to you've been tricked so forth uh, it doesn't feel good right and it's something that doesn't sit well with you to a lot of times you'll you'll constantly think about it you'll replay it over and over you'll think about how you you should have left when you had the chance to and you didn't and you kind of stuck in there and went through with it anyway um these things are all natural, okay? You're going to go through that, especially if you're fresh out of uh, a narcissistic type of situation, relationship, friendship, whatever, and you've discovered you were dealing with a narcissist. This is going to come up because you realize that the other individual, being the narcissist, just don't care. Like they were toying around and playing with your emotions, your life, etc. Your money, they didn't give a damn. And when you put it all together and you realize that 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 is exactly the case, that the, the individual that you were extending this kindness to, that you were trying to be a good person to, never deserved anything, uh, any parts of you being kind or you being accommodating whatsoever. And, and when you total it up, that's that emotion that hits you in the end. That's that emotion that really like comes down on you like a ton of bricks and makes you feel like, wow, I can't believe that I actually allowed it myself to go through that. And now I'm here and I'm still angry. I'm mad. I want something done about this. I mean, I just I can't I can't go. I have to have something done. There's no way they get to ride off into the sunset and I'm just left here looking like boo boo the fool. <clears throat> so. Many of you uh, develop the excessive thoughts and thinking on, you know, what you want to do to them. And you, you begin to plot on things that you uh, <clears throat> can do to them and, and stuff like that to where you start to form an obsession. Right. You begin to um, completely drift from the character and the nature of who you really are trying to get back at this individual that's a narcissist right and the biggest the, the most important thing that i can tell you is to not to not fixate yourself on the things that you've encountered and what's happened and what's went on with the narcissist situation okay it's not gonna do you any good it's only gonna stress you out it's only going to put your mind in the state of uh, anguish to where you won't be able to be productive. Right. 
you won't be able to get any type of productivity out of that because you're going to be constantly trying to figure out what it is that they're doing that you can disrupt or whatnot. And, and you know what? That, in the end, I mean, the narcissist doesn't really learn anyway, okay? They just, they're, they're running from themselves, all right? So you striking them with, with a blow here is only going to make them scatter somewhere else. It's not going to do anything to really fully affect them to where they're going to get, you know, learn a lesson like, okay, uh, <clears throat> you know, I shouldn't have did that or whatnot. It, it, it's, it doesn't work that way. The narcissist is only going to run and reposition themselves somewhere else with some someone else as, as well. Uh, or something else to 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 get out of whatever they've gotten themselves into right they know how to um actively escape accountability and that's what they specialize in you know so they will never put themselves in a position to where they have to be all the way accountable they'll run before they they allow themselves to to have to face that and that's the biggest thing, you know, <clears throat> the narcissist knows, you know, they know what they're doing. They know what they've done. <clears throat> they know all the things that has happened and has that has went wrong. And, you know, to be honest, um, they don't they've kind of made peace with that and understand that that's part of their life now, you know, and that's just the way things go for them. So they're completely fine and okay with it. You know, they're, they're okay with taking a loss and having to start all over if they have to. You know, that's just part, that's a part of life for them. Where a normal person might see that and be like, you know what? I can't, I can't deal. I, I, I don't like that. I don't want to have to start all over again. I don't want to have to lose everything that I've worked so hard to put together and then have to rebuild all over again. Well, for the narcissist, that's the norm. That's, that's, that's everyday work for them. They expect to have to do that. So therefore they embrace that. And when you have an individual or a mindset that is okay and, 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 uh, you know, perfectly fine with embracing failure, with expecting failure and, 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 you know, you know, having to pick up the pieces and, and move on to the next situation. When you have a person that lives their life like that, man, they, they, they are, they're already condemned, you know, they're already, um, in a situation to where they've, they've pretty much died on the inside anyway. They're only existing for the sake of existing. Because I, I believe most of them are terrified of death too. You know, so these individuals, you know, end up, you know, just repeating the same cycle over and over going through the same things over and over. And it is up to you to, at, at, at some point, come to the conclusion to understand that these individuals that we encounter that are this way um, are destined to, um, you know, to be completely decimated they 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 they're not going <clears> to <throat> benefit from any type of enjoyment out of life so when you're able to understand that and put that into your mind you can kind of you know make peace and put to rest a lot of the anguish and and stuff that you you harbor from these encounters with these individuals so um, hope that helps for some. Anyway, again, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. Also, speaking of subscribe, make sure you go over and you, you subscribe to the ASSC Group Network channel on YouTube. 
against the new channel is going to be having all of the uh, other things like the ASSC podcast show. Speaking of that as well, there will be an episode tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, so you want to if you want to catch that, uh, I'll leave the details in a description box. Um, it is a dial in. So if you want to be on there live and listen to it, uh, you just dial in and I'll leave all that again information if you want to tune into it um, or if you want to catch it later, it'll be uploaded onto the um, uh, ASSC network, uh, ASSC group network channel on youtube you can always go back and listen and catch it later at another time then but make sure you do go over there and subscribe um until next time talk to you all later have a good one